What's up, foodies? Thank you so much for all the love you guys gave me so far. I really, really, really appreciate that. For today's recipe, we're gonna go back to making Indo-Chinese. It is a request for a friend of mine, a very close friend of mine. So for today's recipe, what we're making is we're gonna be making one of the most favorite Indian dishes that every single Indian loves for Indo-Chinese. We're gonna be making some Gobi Manchurian. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get to making the recipe for you. All right guys, so the first step to making the uh, Gobi Manchurian is we have to blanch the Gobi. Gobi is actually cauliflower, so we have to blanch the cauliflower so all of my keto friends, everyone that likes eating healthy food, um, this is a good recipe for you. So the first thing we do is we blanch the, the cauliflower for about, about three minutes or so. We want to make sure that they don't get boiled, but we're just blanching them. After you blanch the cauliflower, the next step you're gonna do is you're gonna make a batter for it, because we're going to go out and deep fry the cauliflower to make it crispy. To make the batter, what we're doing is we're doing two to one ratio of all-purpose flour and uh, cornstarch. Now, all-purpose flour for all my Indian friend, it's also manda, so manda and all-purpose flour is the same. Now, what we're gonna do, it's uh, in the uh, mixture we have, I'm gonna use just a little bit of salt. Uh, the reason why I'm only using a little bit of salt, it's because I'm gonna use the same water that I used to blanch the cauliflower to add added flavors to it. Um, I added ample amount of salt when I was um, when I, when I was blanching the cauliflower. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the same water to make my batter. Uh, one thing I do like to add when I'm making the batter, and which is not traditional for the Indo Chinese recipe, um, I actually add a little bit of soy sauce, and also I go ahead and add just a little bit of uh, chili sauce as well. So what it does is when you're done deep frying the <clears throat> when you're done deep frying the food, it actually gives you a different color to it as well. So now I'm not gonna bore you with uh, with making the batter. We'll come back to you when I'm done making the batter. All right, guys. So what we want to do is this is the consistency that you want of your batter. Um, all we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna take our blanched uh, cauliflower out of that and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, deep fry them. We're gonna add them in the batter. And once we add it in the batter, we're gonna deep fry them until they're crispy. Now I know you know how to do uh, deep fry cauliflower or how to make bajia. Bajia is uh, pakoras. I know how to make. Uh, I know you know how to make pakora. So I'm not gonna bore you with that. So I'm gonna come back to you once I'm deep frying the um, once I'm done deep frying the cauliflower. Alright guys, so this is how you want your pakoras to look like or your uh, uh, gobies to look like once you're deep frying. This is how you want to deep fry your gobi, okay? Now, as far as um, uh, finishing the recipe up, so in a wok, I'm using the, the same um, I'm using the same oil that we used to deep fry the, the gobi. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add um, lots of garlic in there. And with garlic, I'm gonna go ahead and add green chilies in there too. Now, once I add that, I have about one medium-sized onion that's cutting big pieces like that. I have red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, and some green bell peppers. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this cook and um, after that we're gonna start adding our sauces to it. Alright guys, once our onions and bell pepper are half cooked, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add salt to taste. With, after adding the salt, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of uh, vinegar. Just a tiny tiny bit of vinegar. some soy sauce with it I'm gonna add uh, just a little bit of ketchup to it and with ketchup I'm gonna add some more chili sauce
And after adding all of that, I'm going to go ahead and let the sausage cook for about half a minute or so. Alright guys, so after your sausages are cooked, what we're going to do, again, my signature that I add to the, to the Indo-Chinese, I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of honey to it. A lot of people like to add sugar. Um, for me, I like to add honey. It does have a different uh, uh, taste to it. So after adding a little bit of honey, what I'm going to do, give it a quick toss. And after tossing it quickly, I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of water. Now the Gobi Manchurian that I'm making, um, you can serve it either as an appetizer or you can serve it with the, uh, with the gravy as well, uh, with the fried rice. Now, after I add the water to it, we're going to go ahead and let the water boil up just for a minute, uh, like about 30 seconds or so very quick. We're going to add some cornstarch to it and we're going to be good to go on adding the gobi with it. Alright guys, so once you get a little bit of boil in the water, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of cornstarch slurry in there. Um, and after adding the cornstarch slurry, um, at this point we're also going to go ahead and add some onion chives to it just a little bit of onion chives we're going to leave some for garnishing and then what we're going to do is give it a good stir as soon as it starts thickening up a little bit we're going to go ahead and add our uh, uh, gobi to it and pretty much give it a mix and we're going to be all set to go all right guys so our gobi has thickened up a little bit at this point we're going to go ahead and add our crispy uh, gobi to it once we add the gobi, we're just going to go ahead and give it a good toss and your recipe is done. Alright guys, so our, um, our gobi has mixed well with the, uh, with the sauce in there. Now what we're going to do, just going to add some more green onions. After we add the green onions, we're just going to go ahead and give it a good toss and we're going to be all done. All right guys, so the food is ready. Not waiting on you. Thank you so much for all the love you guys gave me. Keep liking, sharing, and subscribing. Until next time, I'll see you soon.